I am such an advocate for drugstore makeup. I love affordable makeup and I feel like you don't have to spend a lot of money on makeup to get amazing quality. However, there are some products that I have tried that aren't even worth the low price point. Save your dollar, save your five dollars, save whatever your pennies are, save it, because these products are not worth it even though they're not expensive. Maybe when you purchase something that's super affordable, it doesn't seem like that big of a deal if it's a miss, if you don't end up really liking it, but you know, those things add up and if you have 10, 20 products that were affordable but that you don't like, you could have got a really great higher end product that you actually use all the time. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into it. Starting off from Catrice, this Endless Pearls Beautifying Primer. This is just gimmicky overall. It looks super cool in the tube. You can see it almost looks like little pearls are suspended in a serum type thing. And I think this is supposed to give you a pearl-like finish to your skin. It doesn't, it feels really dry on the skin. It's not hydrating at all. And it's not super glowy. It kind of enhances texture and pills up weirdly under makeup. It it has a little bit of sparkle to it. Overall, it's just a gimmicky product that doesn't really perform or have any purpose. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> kind of salty about that one. <laughs> Next, we have this W7 Bronze Chic Universal Bronzing Balm. I got this from Walgreens. I can't remember exactly how much it was, but it was definitely under $10. You get a lot of product in here, which is a great thing. It's a super thin consistency. It's definitely very balm-like. It just looks so orange on the skin, and I think this is the only color. They call it a universal bronzing balm, but this is not universal. It's only gonna work if you have fair, light, maybe medium skin tones, nobody darker than that really. So I don't like the naming of it. I don't like the fact that it only comes in one shade. I don't like that the one shade is super orange. The texture itself is not bad. It's not super creamy. Again, it's very, very, very thin. The thinnest cream product I've ever tried, which would not be a bad thing, but I just find that when you try to build it up on your skin, it starts like picking up the makeup underneath and it looks very clumpy almost. It sort of bunches up weirdly. It patches up on the skin. So overall, it's just not a great product. Was kind of bummed about it. Another bummer from that brand, W7. These are the only two products I've ever tried from this brand, but based off of these two products, I don't know if I'll be trying anything else. This is their Candy Blush in the shade Galactic. Got a little hair. It was fine when I purchased it, and then somehow I just looked at it. I breathed on it too heavily, and it shattered. And I remember in store when I was picking out a blush, I picked up a different color and I could hear it sort of rattling around in the component. I assumed that that one was broken, so I didn't pick that one up. I picked this one up and then when I got home, this one was shattered. Somehow in the journey from the store to me going to use it, it had broken and it didn't fall. It's not like I was absurdly rough with it. It's just not a great quality. It's too fragile. You can't use it. Bummed out on that one. So if you see W7 at your CVS, don't be pulled in by the super affordable price tag. From what I've seen and experienced, I would keep on walking. Okay, two other products that I was not impressed by. I unfortunately do not have. I will show you watches though and like the components because I did record it when I did have them, but I returned these products because they were just unusable for me and not worth my money. So if you saw my recent like testing new drugstore makeup, you'll know what I'm talking about, why I didn't like these products. The Essence Baby Got Blush, liquid blush. I was so excited for this because I love so many things from Essence. They are such an underrated drugstore brand that still manages to keep their prices really low. So no shade to Essence. I love their new powder blushes that they launched. Amazing. But the liquid blush was just patchy. It was just patchy. When you applied it to the skin, it picked up the foundation underneath. You couldn't build it or else it would get super patchy. And the same thing for the L'Oreal Lumi liquid blush. That one, again, patchy. Can't build it, picks up foundation underneath, and I've just tried so many other liquid blushes, even affordable ones like the e.l.f. liquid camo blushes, 10 times better. So if I can get the e.l.f. ones for around the same price tag, then I'm going to go with the e.l.f. I'm not going to like waste my time on products that are going to be difficult to use. They just need to be better. I feel bad saying that because, you know, they're not like super terrible. You can make them work, but just with the competitors out there, 
they're not bringing it. I have a lot of blushes in this video, I'm just realizing. Three more products, and two of them are blushes. This blush from Ioni, the Buildable and Blendable Blush, I think they just call it. I have the shade Baby Rose. So Ioni you can find at Dollar Tree, actually. Very, very affordable. I was really impressed when I first swatched this because it's very creamy. It's not super dry or chalky. It does have a good amount of pigment. The problem that I have with this is that it's very powdery on the skin. It doesn't really want to stick to your face. So it kind of like flies off your face. And for that reason, it gets patchy, doesn't wear a long time, and it's not super buildable because when you try to build on top of it, it's sort of like it's removing the product. So it's okay for a dollar, you can make it work. But again, I would say save your dollar and get a blush from Essence, the Blush Crush, four or five dollars and 10 times better. This blush from Maybelline, it has no pigment. It has no pigment. I have the shade 15. Literally, it's just sparkle. When I try to apply this to my skin, it's just little specks of sparkle. You can see the tiniest little bit. Maybe it's just the shade that I got and it just doesn't show up well on my skin. But honestly, it's just not impressive. It's very dry and powdery. And when you try to build it up, it just looks powdery on the skin. These are not the cheapest formula out there and there's just so many other great powder blushes at the drugstore. I'm gonna be doing a powder blush drugstore, drugstore powder blush video soon. So make sure you stick around, you subscribe for that. If you wanna hear about some really great ones, there are a lot of great ones, but the bad ones definitely wanna run. Okay, last but not least, the duck plump. This is so painful. So painful, it's not worth it to me. It does plump up your lips, but it doesn't plump up my lips enough to warrant the pain. To me, it's just like, why would I put myself through such excruciating pain just for a tiny little smidgen of plumpness? Not worth it to me. So yeah, guys, those are all of the affordable makeup products that I say are not even worth their small price tag. They're not even worth your spare change. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, this was all in good fun, but also to help maybe save you from wasting some money. You know, all money is worth saving. Gotta pinch those pennies nowadays with eggs being $6. Also, side note, I'm sorry that the last couple of my videos have been so inconsistent when it comes to coloring and lighting. I'm kind of learning as I go, so I'm experimenting with where I'm placing light, how I'm editing my videos, color adjusting, all that stuff. So please be patient. I'm so sorry if it's a little bit, a little bit annoying that it's not super consistent, but I'm gonna try to figure out the best the best settings, the best way to go about things, and I'll try to keep it like uniform as I go forward. Please subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!